G'day guys, Beer Healer here, back again with the second part of my interview with head brewer from Bolter Brewing, Scotty. I hope you enjoyed the first one, and uh, we'll kick it off now with the second one where Scotty fills you in more about uh, the road to success at Bolter and his love of home brewing and everything beer related. It was a great chat with him, so hopefully you enjoy part two, so let's go. <laughs> Um, I was having a bit of a chat to Sterling, uh, the marketing manager, before we got together this afternoon, and you know he was talking about how great the people are around you guys here. So I think that's something that home brewers need to remember. You know, if you're going to go and do this, you, you can't just do it all on your own. This is, even though it's a smallish brewery, there's still a lot of people that make this thing happen, isn't it? Oh, totally, totally. I, there's no way I can just stand up there and and make all the beer and expect it to do anything except build up around my ears. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, you need. You need uh, a great business. I mean, this is the brewing business, you know, yeah. and it's still a business at the end of the day. So, um, you know, all the, everything has to add up. Things have to make sense. You know, there have, there's a whole bunch of families that rely on what we do in here to, to be fed and pay their bills, yeah. you know. So, obviously, I take that responsibility particularly personally. Um, so, therefore, you know, like, uh, you know, the, the, the beer and the quality of the beer is and consistency is always going to be number one in my mind because all our jobs rely on that. But, yeah. but also, you know, we can't do it without um, great logistics and great sales people and, and as you mentioned, Sterls, great brand and great yeah. great marketing, you know, that, that all ties together and, and equals the one thing that is bolted. Yeah. I was, again, talking to him before saying what a great job that he and the team around you have done by ensuring that this brand stood for beer first yeah, not the fact that you had some, you know, pretty well-known ownership um, backing you. And yep. I think you guys have, have just done a fantastic job of just putting beer front and centre. That is bloody great beer. And yeah, they're there, and you know, people sort of know about them. But first and foremost, it's beer, isn't yep. it? Oh, totally, totally. I was, I was. Um, um, Stirls likes to talk about the fact that he, when I first met all the guys, including Stirls, uh, I hated them all. <laughs> he gets a lot of miles out of that, but it's not actually true. But I was quite wary, you know, like, well, right, oh, what's the deal with these guys? And the simple fact was, they've travelled all over the world, they've, they've spent 20 years on planes and, and trains and buses and stuff. So they've, they've, you know, they've covered a lot of ground in, you know, and seen a lot of beers all over the world. And it was something that, that the, the boys wanted to, to have as part of their life after surfing. and, and yeah. To their credit, I guess they knew that it wasn't going to be about them. It was going to be about great beer and how you how to how to make that all happen. So uh, they hired well. You know? yeah. I'm not talking about myself here, but it's, you know our, our GM and, and sales, our marketing guy, and logistics and financial guy, and, and sales, and you know, all the, all the facets that actually make this thing work. It's, it's much bigger than uh, just the beer. Although the beer is like the centre of it, and, yeah. and you're dead right, you know. I mean, by now we would have probably been and gone as a celebrity stunt beer or something by now. Yeah. If it was, I certainly would be here, and if that's if that's what was going to happen, I'm sure that they would have probably done their money by now. Yep. No, and uh, yeah, and um, everybody out there in good beer land would have moved on, tried it, had a bit of a laugh and a chuckle, and probably moved on. But you know, we're we're not about that. It's 100 percent about great beer and. And the good beers for everyone, and you know that's our that's our mission. Absolutely, nice. Um, so not wanting to harp on you know famous ownership, but did you ever feel any real pressure to have to succeed, considering that you had those guys backing you? Uh, not really because of that. Uh, you know, not really because of the boys, but because of um, my own fear of failure. I suppose I'd yeah. done. I'd been very lucky and been able to move my family from us being concrete in Canberra and, and managed to live in you know, a couple of the most beautiful places in the country thanks to me. My wife and I had to say, you know, the beer got us here. We, we still live in Byron Bay and there's, you know, there's a couple of boulder shirts around now that have had that on there and, and that's where that comes from. And my wife and I swimming at Watergate's Beach looking around at the lighthouse going, this is bullshit, you know, we're here because of beer. Yeah. Beer got us here. So, uh, you know, we we're yeah, very, very sort of thankful for that, and um, you know, it's it's an amazing, it's an amazing journey, I suppose, yeah. to have been on. Um, 
as for the pressure, you know, like only, you know, um, all, all of the people I've mentioned, like the, you know, in the, in the running of this place, we're, we're all financially involved as well. So there's there's, there's a few more necks on the chopping block yep. than you might think. Yep. But yep. above and beyond that, the funny thing was when I was building all of this, it was um, it wasn't the fear of failure or that I'd bugger it up that kept me awake at night. It was where exactly am I going to? Where's the mill going to fit? <laughs> hot water tank to actually move that half a meter to the left or the right you know it was little it was the tiny little technical details of it because um, amazingly enough i just i thought i've done this long enough now and these guys have shown enough faith in me that the beer will be good we, we, we're doing it for the right reasons yep. so we'll only have ourselves to blame or particularly me to blame um I love I love hearing about you know best kept secrets in Australian brewing, whether it be a, a beer or a brewery or a brewer or, or whatever or a personality, mm -hmm. um, maybe a venue. Have Have you got one that you can think of? Oh, gee, that is a tough question. Best kept secret. Uh, I don't know. In the I, old case. <laughs> Can I help you and say that this uh, Bolter Brewing Ruby is uh, oh, something okay, I've yeah. never tried? I'm really enjoying that beer. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah um, I don't know. Like, um, that's the thing about the brewing community here in the country. It's all it's all pretty open. There's a lot of... What, what makes it so fraternal, I suppose, is we all have a common enemy. Um, there's probably a few now, mm, but, 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 but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I sort of sense think in wider terms of, of like that that just you know that awareness and that the good beer and, and what that message actually means. You know, it's 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 beyond you know, necessarily craft beer or or um, the latest thing brewed on a ten liter brewing system or something that no one's ever done before. And that's all very interesting and and very necessary to the evolution of brewing. But I, I think I think the, the biggest, you know, maybe the the biggest hidden hidden gem would be the fact that there's so many people out there that still don't even know anything about what we do, you know, and, and they're they're the folks that will give us a future, and you know, if you start your own thing, they're they're going to be the folks that give you a future, and all the guys that started up their own brewery this week, and the guys that had their stainless land last month, and they're furiously trying to get those first brews going. You know? It's 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 not all it's your mates and friends who will probably got you there. It's all the people you don't even know yet who will keep you going into the future. And, and we've been very conscious on as I said before, we we believe fervently in good beer is for everybody. Not just people that are already in on the yep in on the joke. Yep. You know? uh, um, if anything we sort of we know those guys are there. And, and they're well serviced by yep. Australian craft beer. You know what? What I think is really important that, that Boulder can do is just shine a light on good beer for, for folks that just don't even think about beer in those terms. Yeah. You know, the, they see it as just another commodity, like a tin of baked beans. You know? And and if you can get people to, to be, if we're thoughtful about what we do, and we can get people to think a little bit more about the, the choices they might make, or to come and see us one Saturday instead of going to a big yeah, big box. yellow pub. <laughs> yeah, 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 blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, um, then it might actually make the the weekend yeah. that little bit more special. It might, you know, it's it's experience at the end of the day is what this is all about. You know, yeah. good beer is about people, really. Oh, absolutely. And I, I do this. I make zero money to do it. I spend a lot of time on it, as my wife will attest to, who is uh, off shopping while we film this today. But uh, I do it for the conversations because I love the fact. That this industry and the home brewing, the one that surrounds it, they're so passionate about what they're doing, and everybody's got an opinion, and everybody is allowed to, you know, voice that opinion, yeah. and they just love to talk about their passion, and it, that's that's what I do it for. I just I get a real kick out of it, and in a similar way, when you've got people here at the bar and you can tell them about the latest beer that you've brewed, yeah. you know, how great is it to see the smile on their face when they're like, oh shit, you did that with grains, really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of that, and that's very enjoyable. You know, it's better than making bullets, or in my former life, yeah. I was a concreter. You know, and people would. I'd put as much care and attention and to detail in, into the concrete I was pouring as into the beer I make, and people would, you know, I'd tell them to stay off for a week while it cures, and they drive after, drive on it after, you know, after a day or two, and just say, "Get out of the way, mate! We paid you, get lost." Yeah. This is much more, um, 
This is much better for the soul. I yeah. like to see people really enjoy the fruit of your labour. Yeah. But uh, I, I think you're extremely lucky with that saying, you know, do what you love, love what you do. The smile on your face, the crinkles in the corner of your eyes, you know, you can <laughs> see <laughs> you can see your love being here. So and like, love talking about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I'm insanely yeah. jealous of what you do every day. And I think you guys, everybody involved here at Baltimore is doing a fantastic job. Great beers. Fantastic venue here. This is absolutely sensational. Um, keep it up, mate. Um, cheers. Cheers to great beers. Cheers. And, and cheers to that uh, the wonderful homebrewing community out there, yeah. mate. Like, I, I still like to think I'm tethered. I'm a, I'm a, apparently, I'm still a Canberra, Canberra Brewers member in yep. Exile. Yep. Uh, but I'm still very proud of those guys. I'm very proud to have sort of emerged out of there, as it did um, Richard Watkins from Bentsburg yep. and uh, um, Kevin Hingston in Pack Beer and Christoph Zierholz out of Zierholz. So, you know, uh, uh, the guys um, down at Shandles in, in Tassie. Yep, in Tassie, yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just great, man. It's, it's awesome that, that that sort of uh, hobby can actually lead to something greater if 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 that's what you you know if, if all the stars align and that's what you're really meant to do you know, it's, it's um it's not easy just as a tip for all those guys out there it's not easy but you've got to um, you reap what you sow absolutely and if you know you've got to be up for the glamour of being up at 5 a.m and <laughs> going to bed at 11 and covered in yeast and shit and all sorts yeah. of crap it's been way too hot and way too cold and yeah. And you wouldn't have it any other way. Burnt and hungry. No, no, well, like, I had, you know, similar, similar sort of experience when I was a concrete. Oh, no one really gave a shit about that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which, by the way, this isn't a great looking slab. You maybe. Yeah, you I know, I didn't do it. <laughs> I watched it. I watched it. Yeah, no, I stayed uh, the hell away from that. Right. I'm, look, I'm retired from that. I appreciate your time today. We have been getting a brew going on in the background, so we've been jumping in and out. But, uh, you know, thanks very much, mate. I, oh, I really welcome. appreciate it. And no, I appreciate everything you're doing, Helping me Chris. spread the craft beer gospel to uh, those of you who are out there who are also as uh, passionate about it as I am. So, uh, yeah, mate, love anyway. your work. Love Cheers. Mate. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, how good does that look, the Baltimore IPA? Spelling sensational. Look, I just want to say a huge thank you to Scott for uh, my time there with him this afternoon. Um, you know, it's probably about uh, two hours I spent with him, so it was absolutely fantastic. He was so giving of his time and his information and about his experience and his journey. I just had an absolute ball there. I could have stayed there much longer, and uh, thanks again for letting me uh, throw in some hops and all that sort of stuff into the brew. I feel a bit of part of Bolter this afternoon. Um, I love this craft beer industry because there are so many people out there who just want to share the love and, and have conversations about craft beer, which I absolutely love. So uh, I'll enjoy this uh, Bolter IPA as the, uh, as the sun goes down here over uh, Palm Beach. But... Um, Thanks again, guys, and uh, look, best of luck for the future. And until we talk again in the Beer Healer Shed or on vacation or whatever, cheers to great beers.